Alright, here's part 28 of Ocarina of Time, and in this video we're gonna hopefully try to finish up the Water Temple, but more likely this just might take another part to finish, just because of how annoying it is. Alright, um... So basically what we gotta do here is use these platforms to get across. The stupid mistake was, yeah, doing that. I should have went to the left platform instead. Oh, crap. Oh, almost a hit. Or, well, I probably did, but whatever. Let's just make our way over here. And this time, just use the left one. I think what I have to do is I have to hit that switch over there. Maybe that'll move the thing. I don't know. I guess we'll just find out soon enough if that is what I end up doing. Yeah, I might want to go a little bit closer there, Link. <laughs> uh, like by the corner, perhaps? Yep, there we go. Try this again. Yep, so lower the thing down and then just try to hook try to get yourself attached to the thing with the hook shot. Alright. And then I think you have to hit the switch again. Yep. Alright. Yeah, you're not standing close enough, Link. Come on. <laughs> so yeah, just deact. Yep, bring the things, to the statues down, and then get on top of them. And then, yep, just ride them up onto the top. stun them with the hookshot, or be like me and just not use the hookshot. Now that thing would try to steal your tunic if you're not careful, so you want to try to shoot it at long range. And then there you go. Those things I think give you like, I think it's 20 rupees? I don't really remember. Oh. Well, it doesn't really matter anyways, because it's like, I barely don't even, I mean, I don't even have any rupees at all. Alright, it's not that I don't have them, it's more like I maxed out my rupees. Oh, now this is where the annoying part comes in. And you're about to find out here in a sec. Now see, in this section of the, of the temple... In the Switch version, they tried to enhance the graphics a little bit with water and stuff, water effects. And yeah, it's a lot more different in that version. But basically here, you're fighting um, Shadow Link, I think is his name. Ghost Link. You know, Shadow Link seems more of an accurate name. Um, he was in uh, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. I think as a final boss, I think it was. I know he appears somewhere in that game. I'm pretty sure it is the final boss from what I researched. But yeah, I think... I don't, I'm pretty sure this one's different from the one that y'all probably fought in Zelda 2, but I really wouldn't know that because... I don't really do enough of my research to find out more about these guys. I'm pretty sure it is possible to beat this guy um, with the Master Sword, but for me personally, I just like using the big Goron Sword because it's just more easier taking him down. And when I tried fighting him with the um, Master Sword, it just, I don't know, never worked out well. But basically, you just go in here, and I'm pretty sure this is where we get our upgrade for the hook shot. Um... Long shot. Yep. 
It's an upgraded hook shot that extends twice the range, basically. Now, at this part here, you just play Song of Time, and this little platform will disappear. No? Why is it not working? There we go. Okay. Alright, and then after that, just make your way down. Huh. <laughs> yep, yeah, just like in Mario, there's always vortexes in that one as well. I forget. Yeah, see, I'm just trying to check to see if there's anything around here. But I think really all I have to do is just go down to the waterfall. Do I use iron boots here? No. One of these parts I actually ended up getting myself stuck, and you're going to find out here in a second. Yeah, I don't know why. Why am I using iron boots here? That's what I don't get. Yeah, I think you actually have to get rid of the iron boots here. I don't think you can use it at that part. I was trying to use them because I want to just kind of slow down to see where I'm going. Oh, and that's what ended up happening. See, I got stuck in one of these vort- I didn't, like, get sucked into the vortex, but, like... Yeah, I was trying to get, like, these little hearts here, because I was trying to fill up on health. But I was trying to do it without actually getting stuck, and... Well, you're gonna about to find out here that I got- I think I got myself stuck on one of these. That. Yep. Gold Skultula. Um. Well, there's another heart. Come on, get that heart link. There you go. Um. I don't know what the hell I was doing here. Like, really? Yeah, this was the part where I got stuck at. As you can see, I was like literally double tapping the A button trying to get the hell out of there. You, you can really see I was swimming for dear life at this part. But how I managed to escape it was pretty astonishing, as you're about to find out. You know, keep swimming, keep swimming. Honestly, I don't even know how I didn't die here. It was so insane. But yep, you can definitely see, I, I almost ended up dying, but I tried switching over to the iron boots, maybe seeing if that would solve the problem, and sure enough, it did. Well, sort of. Trying to figure out a way to get out. Problem is, I kept hitting that stupid wall. Pretty much got out of the danger, but I was having a hard time trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, I don't know why I kept trying to pause. Come on, get on the platform, Link. There we go. Oh, shit. And this is another thing that I kind of screwed up on, too, was trying to collect that fairy. Why am I literally just falling off the edge? It's so stupid. Alright, but yeah, I missed my chance to catch that fairy in the bottle, so now... Now, yep, just gotta go over here. Yeah, I'm just keeping my iron boots on for right now, since this current is so strong. The only way to overcome it is just to have iron boots on. And we got another big key.
Yeah, I didn't take the iron boots off because I was trying to figure out where I was going to go from here. So it looks like, yeah, I need to go into that door. Alright, let's go. And then let's go. go over here. So now we just got to get to that one little area that we didn't go to earlier since we didn't have the, the upgrade. Alright, swim back down. here. Okay, yep, need to go this way. I don't know if this was where I kind of got lost here or what, but... No, maybe not. This path, I think, leads to the boss, but as you probably might notice, I don't even have the boss key yet. Oh. Yeah, I've forgotten how you already... Yeah, I got the fairies um, off camera. Like, I already filled up my fairy bottle. So I guess it really didn't matter if, it, if I... If there were fairies in this temple to go for anyway, since I already collected all four of them. And yeah, I didn't necessarily need to have four of them, but yeah. For me personally, I'm not worried about um, running out of uh, running out of magic. I'm usually pretty good about keeping magic replenished, but it's usually the hearts I tend to run out of the most for some reason. See, I've just got to put that block there. I'm pretty sure it's that same block from earlier. The one we were having to move from the last part. So, let's see. I think this just takes us to the exit, if I remember correctly. Yep. And for some reason my camera kind of got screwed up here. I don't know what happened. But yeah, just want to get out of here. Alright, come on, Link. Let's see, um... Yeah, I don't know why the heck I'm not going over to the... to the bottom part, because that's actually where I'm supposed to go. Okay, I think I'm about to do that right now. Pretty sure if you have the if you have the long range hook shot, you can use you can shoot the eye and um, yeah, basically go into that cage that's locked up. Okay, I don't know how I wasn't able to hit this guy. What the heck? can't use your hook shot here yet. You gotta go back to Kokori boots, make your way up to the surface. Ah. 
And of course, this is where I realized I went the wrong way. It's one of those things where you can easily get lost in here unless you know where you're going. through oh well I think I corrected myself on that as soon as I went in there and realized oh yeah I'm not supposed to go in there I think this is where we need to go yep all right so back to the Kokori boots and then I think we just gotta yep make our way up here Just use the key, open up this door, and then... And, of course, we find more of these guys. Alright, so, yeah, just keep, um... Shooting this guy, yep. It's so basically I'm just trying to shoot these little spider-like enemies. Um, I forget what they're called. Like likes, maybe. I don't know. No, I think that's the the, the jelly-looking enemies. I don't know. Just make way to this door, and where the heck are we at now? Why am I okay? There's a hook shot there, or thing you use to shoot the hook shot. Yeah, shoot those guys. Hard to shoot them when they keep moving around. And I'm trying to figure out a good place to land, but oh, that's what's going on. It's these bats. Yeah, I think there's one more. Yep, one or two at most. So we need bombs. And yeah, don't do that like I did. Yeah, when you when you drop the bomb, you want to just set it down. Like what like pay attention to the icon. Okay, I don't think you're supposed to go this way yet. And there's a certain way where this block is supposed to go. I think this is the way it's supposed to go. Yeah, so you just push that through there, and then... I'll try to see what's in here real quick. More bombs. Yep, because we're going to need a ton of bombs. Not really. Pretty much I've already maxed out my bombs, and... Um, Actually, just push it from the other side, or do I have to really? Yep, I have to go all the way around. Oh, that's just annoying. All right. Yep. So you just want to push this onto the switch, and then I think this raises the water level up a little more. I think. 
Yeah. So, and then I think you want to go up into here. Why am I going in through this door? That's not even where I'm supposed to go, I don't think. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah, I just don't feel like killing those guys, so I'm just gonna run. Oh boy. Pretty sure this one's also timed as well, so you gotta do this carefully. Yeah, I didn't want to kill these guys, so... Or, well, I lost time anyway, so... Yep. Alright, so now I get to have the pleasure of redoing that again. You have to... You have, you have to stand on it. You can't use your items or nothing. You have to stand on the switch and then jump onto the geysers. Why did I do that? Like, seriously. Yep. This kind of took me a few attempts, but I think I've got it. Trying to see what's over to the right. Oh, yep, gold scotula. There we go. Alrighty. And yep, in another area full of annoying enemies to face that I'm not even going to bother facing. Alright, let's just go into the door. taking so much damage, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I think this was at the point where I pretty much ended up having to just stop the recording and do like a random cut or something. I don't know. But it was hard trying to figure out where to go. Because, yeah, I kept getting myself lost or kept taking damage. A lot of random stuff ended up happening. Alright. Well, we'll try this again. But, yep, looks like in the next video we actually do end up finishing the Water Temple. This video is more like me trying to get halfway done with this temple and not and unfortunately failing okay well somehow I made that in time so I don't know if I just end up using iron boots here or what yeah I think I maybe I use iron boots I don't know actually yeah that would make more sense yeah I'll just come down here and then how did I not block that? Are you serious? Alright, there we go. Alright, see you guys in part 29.